Hey Geetana, what's up? Oh my, you look sad. I'm really worried. I just read NASA's article. It says eventually Earth will die. When that happens, humanity will need to vacate and find a new home. Where will we go? Hmm, possibly Mars. How can humans survive on Mars? It is full of rock and soil. The temperature can plummet to as low as negative 140 degrees Celsius. Brrr. And gravity that is weaker. Bind, you jump foot. And oh my, can't imagine the dust storms. Well, don't forget, I am a Martian scientist and I have plans to build a greenhouse on Mars. But how? Who's going to care for the plants? As you know, we can't survive the harshness of Mars with the help of my robot probe Maggie, Malaysian extraterrestrial greenhouse evaluator. Come on! Ta da! Greenhouse on the red planet! Oh, wow! Fascinating! A greenhouse that could provide food for future colonies. Maggie's designed to take care of plants in Mars greenhouse. Thus, this robot probe can do lots of things that humans can't withstand extreme temperature, radiation and dust storm. I am sure Maggie can float on water and roll on icy surface all while taking pictures and collecting samples. Oh wow! Hydroponics! These are pecanid vegetables. Mmm, yummy! No cooking needed. And the greenhouse is translucent allowing light to pass through for photosynthesis. A greenhouse on Mars is crucial for long duration missions, both for cost and practicality. It's not feasible to send NASA satellites from Earth to astronauts on Mars. So, Maggie and its crew will produce fresh food for them. But how will you water the plants and oxygen for astronauts? Ha! Huh, and rich water is automatically cycled through, allowing plants to grow. Sensors on Maggie can track water temperature, pH level, humidity and every stage of plant's growing process. They can utilize this atmospheric carbon dioxide to create the oxygen astronaut need. The bot connects to an AI app that monitors the data which can be accessed by both astronaut and Malaysian space employees. You mean Maggie lies on camera, sensor and motors to navigate on greenhouse and move like a human. Yes, and Maggie can also move around and inspect to see if plants are ready to harvest. Hmm, it's a pity that no one has brought sample from us though. Huh, Maggie has a built-in rocket with a container to carry the sample. This rocket would then blast off to reach Earth. Oh yes, our Malaysia Space Agency is sure to use your blueprint when it's finally ready to blast off to Mars. Hey Maggie, come on, you have got work to do. Let's go, you two.